All right. Welcome to our breakdown of the Ant-Man and the Wasp trailer that dropped this morning. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. You know, it, uh, they kind of announced it last night at the Black Panther premiere. Uh, but let's get into it and watch the first clip. I just have one question. When Cap needed help, if I'd asked you, would you have come? I guess we'll never know. But if you had, you'd have never been caught. Okay, so what we saw here was Ant-Man talking to the Wasp and asking if he would have asked her to help Captain America. Would she have? And she said, let's not answer it now. And, mm -hmm. But if she did, they wouldn't have got caught. And that kind of leads in to a little scene further down in this trailer where we kind of see him on lockup and stuff. But we'll talk about that there. Yeah, my theory is like, um, my, my, my questions are, I'm just going to throw out questions. The questions are, you know, get caught doing what? Coming back to the country, helping out Cap. What is it? You know? Well, he was in jail when Cap springed him at the end of the Civil War, so perhaps he, like you had said earlier before this video, he went to see his daughter, and they caught him there, and they put him on house arrest. I do some dumb things, and the people I love the most, they pay the price. Okay, so in that clip, um, we get to see Scott laying on lockup. and yep, um, it looks like house arrest. He's got the little clip on his, uh, or the lock. On his, on his... Ankle. Yes. <laughs> and uh, it's at, it, interesting to me, it, it's at his ex's house, which I, I'm assuming he didn't live with Luis anymore. He didn't have anywhere to go. So he's staying there. That's my guess. And um, that... And maybe since his ex-wife's new husband is a cop, maybe they offered to keep him there, to keep an eye on him, and that kept him out of jail. Yeah. Thanks to you, we had to run. We're still running. Let's go. And this next scene, we see Hope and Hank on the run. It looks like the FBI is coming after them for whatever reason, perhaps because they didn't sign the Slovakia Accords. And they are kind of superheroes in their own right. You know, Hank Pym was Ant-Man. Hope Van Dyne is the Wasp. We don't know if she's actually been the Wasp yet, but we see some scenes later on that may take place before that scene because, you know, these mm -hmm. aren't always in order. And she opens that little section that we're uh, going with, um, saying, thanks to you, we're on the run. So I wonder, you know, what happened there? That's, I, I like having the questions. My questions are, like, like what, what are they, what, is it a result from the first movie still, or is it something after Captain America, or, you know, something Right, like it could that. be something that happened in Civil War when he got let out of prison by Cap at the end. It could be something from the first movie. You're absolutely right. And then we do see a cool little scene where Hank Pym shrinks down that building, taken yeah. on the run. There could be some plumbing problems. We don't know, but let's <laughs> not get into that because it was a cool scene. Okay, and this next scene we see at the beginning, we see the ship that we do believe is going into the quantum realm. Later on in this, we see this quantum realm there. Uh, then we kind of see Ghost. Mm -hmm. Kind of look like she's using her powers maybe for the first time. Mm -hmm. Then we see a cutscene with Bill Foster, who in the comics becomes Goliath, uh, played by Lawrence Fishburne. Uh, kind of makes it look like he's there when she gets her powers. I don't know if it's just fancy editing or what's going on, but, uh, you know, we'll see when the movie comes out. And they just keep qual um, choosing quality actors to place in these roles. I mean, I've always liked Lawrence Fishburne. And, uh, you know, he played Perry White in, uh, I think it was... Man uh, of Steel. Man of Steel, yeah. I didn't like that movie at all, so I'm not going to say anything else about it. But, uh, yeah, he's an excellent actor. And um, uh, just looking down for a second. They go to the uh, quantum realm in that in that footage. Uh, in Actually, that, we see the ship. We don't see him in the quantum realm in that footage. And that will coming up then. And um, we don't see anything regarding the first Wasp, so that'll be interesting if that, if that happens. That's right. We assume after the first movie that uh, Janet Van Dyne, the original Wasp, is in the quantum realm. Uh, we know that Michelle Pfeiffer is playing her in this movie, but we don't see her in this trailer at all. So either second trailer, you know, we'll find something out. I'm sure this movie is going to delve into the quantum realm, so yeah. we see her at some point. <laughs> So that little action scene, a lot of action in that scene. Uh, I like how they piled it in there. 
and they're driving underneath the other truck and they, they blow it up and that, that's that's pretty good. You know, yep, they use the pin particles to shrink the truck and then grow it big when it's underneath the one. So it kind of knocks it off course. Yeah. We see the ghost in the costume for the first time. Uh, I think this is a very interesting choice for villain in this movie. I like it. I think they can do a lot of things with it. For those of you who don't know the ghost, basically has uh, an outfit that can turn invisible or intangible, but not at the same time. So mm -hmm. if she's invisible, she can't be intangible. If she's intangible, she can't be invisible. And in the comics, you know, master tactician, inventor, hacker. So there's a lot they can do with her. And if it's kind of playing off the heist movie from the first one, maybe they're... She's stealing something from Hank Pym or going after something that Hank Pym knows she shouldn't have. A lot of options that are here with this, uh, you know, villain, so it's going to be good. Maybe you just need someone watching your back. Like a partner. Okay, and uh, that little uh, short there, uh, his daughter um, saying that he needed a partner, <clears throat> and he's looking kind of down about it, so I'm guessing that happens during his house arrest, and he's just talking, and he just realizes that he can't work on his own, and it, it sucks that he's not with uh, Hope right now. You know, maybe something happens, and at first he you know, tries to do something alone, fails, and we do see, after that, we do see a great scene with the wasp fighting in a kitchen, uh, some pretty good special Those effects knives. in it. She, yeah, she's yeah. running on a knife. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I think uh, I think we're in for some great action scenes in this film. You gave her wings and blasters. So I take it you didn't have that tech available for me. No, I did. And after that, we see uh, Scott Lang talking to Hank Pym, and he says, "You gave her wings." And he goes, "Yeah, yeah, and blasters." And then. Scott Lang is like, eh, probably the funniest scene of the trailer. Well, you didn't have those available for me? And he's like, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm not giving them to you. <laughs> you know, to play devil's advocate here, he does get to talk to ants and help control them with the helmet. And whether we see the wasp being able to control anything, so they each got something. You know, wings and blasters are controlling ants, I guess. Whatever you like. <laughs> and once again, the, uh, the action sequence is just awesome. Again. I love the new logo. For the it movie. looks great the way they swoop in on it. Ant Man has a different font than the Wasp. Looks great. And then to finish the video, we see them using the pin particles. They're being chased, and they use the pin particles to enlarge a Hello Kitty Pez dispenser and throw it. Hilarious. Knocking, yeah, it was <laughs> it was good. Knocking someone off the motorcycle. We were kind of zooming in on it trying to figure it out. It does look like it might be the ghost chasing them, so... Can't be 100%, but it, it, I saw. I thought I saw it in the eyes. You do. It kind of looks like those goggles that they're wearing, yeah. so that she is wearing. Well, if you like what you see here, please subscribe to our channel and uh, hit the little bell button uh, so that you get notified when, the, when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you.